Hello my gorgeous angels and welcome back to another video. I have missed you guys so much. Hope you guys are all doing well and enjoying the double upload from yesterday and today. Angels, you know what? The weather is gloomy outside, it's rainy, it literally looks like it could be about 8pm and it's like 11am and um, that's my kind of weather. Today we have what is usually one of your guys' favourite ever videos, I'm going to say of the entire year. Today we have the Primark haul. I know yesterday we did the um, come shopping with me to Primark, new in Primark for November 2020. And today I thought we could run through everything I picked up when I was in Primark. Lots of new little Christmassy bits and bobs and um, I'm really, really excited to get stuck in. If you guys haven't seen yesterday's video, which was a big shop log, I think is what the kids say nowadays like a big shopping vlog come to primark with me new in primark took you guys shopping for the day i will leave that up here or in the description box below for you guys to go and have a watch i was actually really impressed for like the last week of october i could come through honey primark could really like step their game up for christmas but before we get into the haul i just wanted to kind of preface this video with a few of my current thoughts today while i'm filming this video rumors of a second lockdown in england have been um floating around the news this morning and i think if one is supposed to start it might be literally on the day that this video goes live so i know that potentially <laughs> primark could not be open right now so um for me it's a bit like well, what's the point of doing this video when you guys can't go and shop but then at the same time i just really hope that this video can cheer you up a little bit. I did pick up some really cute bits and bobs that I'm sure you might be able to order online from um, similar shops. Regardless, I just feel like it's a nice little time for us to catch up, have a cup of tea together. I really hope this video can kind of lift your spirits. I know when I heard the news of a potential second lockdown within England, my heart sank. If you can hear the rain, on the window right now that is how my mood is <laughs> however you guys are feeling i want you all to know that i am here for you you are always welcome and always invited to just come and hang out on this little section of the corner right here the angel gal fam with me i really hope that my videos can kind of just take your mind off of things for a moment we're all in this together as my honey zach once said in high school musical i promise you we are going to get through it together it doesn't feel like it at the moment but there is going to be a light at the end of the tunnel if any of you are struggling i really urge you to just talk to somebody i know today's climate is very difficult and i for one am completely over 2020 i'm like bring on next year but whatever happens with lockdown i just want you all to know that yeah i just love and appreciate you all so much and i'm here for you we're gonna get through this and as my mug says this can still be a magic time of the year <laughs> so without further ado let's get into the bits and bobs that i picked up from primark guys at home my lovers i really feel like this video is gonna put a little bit of a smile on your face primark had some really lovely home decor in there and i actually went to the bath store usually i go to the bristol cabot circus store which is like the biggest one around where we live bath is a little bit smaller but their home decor section was still on point first of all i picked up this massive super soft deck throw this is so soft i can't cope as i've never had a throw from primark before let me just tell you honey oh my god and now i'm a dog mum of two boys big brute boys labrador men primark throws are my saving grace i did actually buy this to be a dog blanket but you know what i'm just loving the tartan so I'm thinking this might even make it into the living room. Honey, you've been promoted. This one was £18. I really feel like it's so worth it. Even if this just does end up on Herbie and Hector's bed, it's still festive, you know? The boys can't wait for Santa Claus to come to town. Moving on, the next thing I picked up I feel like you're all going to be really, really excited about. I bought some Friends Gingerbread Christmas PJs. Absolutely love them. They are so soft. I got a size medium because I really like my pyjamas to be nice and oversized. Also... I mean, no hate Primark because I'm loving this set. I am a customer. I purchased this set. But you know when sometimes pyjama sets like that, they're not very flattering. Anybody else? You know when they're just like literally like a crew neck t-shirt, but it's long sleeve and it's not like long and it's not cropped 
erect so it kind of sits in that awkward spot of your tummy the joggers aren't like joggers but they're not leggings either and it just kind of all fits a bit wrong that's why we're oversizing these babes so you know you can tie you can be a fashionista you can tie the top up you can pull the joggers up because they're oversized anyway i just absolutely love them they've got central perk coffee mugs on there they've got snowflakes they've got candy canes they've got little gingerbread men and of course their friends oh my god guys i am so excited about this purchase are you ready are you ready oh we have to name them okay ta-da oh. oh sweetheart your apron's all messed up let's just sort you out how cute is she or is it a he what are we gonna call you babes you know what that is me when November the 1st hits, this is literally me. I put my Christmas apron on. My nose is a bit red from the cold weather. I put my massive chef hat on. Lace bits around my toes. I think they're supposed to be her slippers, are they? Of course, I have to get my tartan dicky bow out. I mean, I just thought, twins. I thought that she could sit really nicely in my kitchen windowsill. Like, hello, welcome to Ellie's Bakery. What can we get you today? She was £12, so not the cheapest, but I feel like she's going to be a little Christmas staple for me. Wow, that rain is really blowing. I wonder if you guys can hear it. I'm supposed to be going out for lunch in a minute. This making me want to stay inside. Yeah, just thought she was really cute. There was a penguin one, but I felt like gingerbread. It's got to be gingerbread for the kitchen, hasn't it? Next up, I picked up these two beautiful sets of slippers. I saw one. If you guys would have seen the shop video you would know what I'm about to say. I saw this pair and I was like oh my god I absolutely love them and then I saw this pair and I was like I just can't choose so I bought both. Primark slippers are actually such a staple I really really like them I don't think you can beat them. These were five pounds and these one was six. Um, I picked these ones because I really felt like these were a bit of a white company dupe. I don't know if you guys have seen but white company at the moment have these massive faux fur slider style kind of slippers with this detailing. And I really, really liked them. And then I saw them in Primark and I was like, Primark, I've done a thing there. Do you know what I mean? I like those. They're really soft. And then these ones are just your classic, cute mule. Is that what we're going to call them? Mule type slippers. Oh, this was definitely supposed to be a dog throw. Look at this, guys. Oh, I don't feel like you can see it. It was the last one on the uh, shelf. So I feel like poor old thing's been kind of rough and tumbled a little bit. And I'm just trying to straighten it all out for you. I've literally done nothing there. But basically, it's a Mickey Mouse Christmas throw. This one was £6. And let me tell you, Herbie already has a Christmas Mickey Mouse throw that I literally bought from Primark this time last year. They stayed out all year. Don't tell anybody. Herbie is a big fan of Christmas. I tried to take it off him and he was like, no, mum, give me my Mickey throw back. I was like this, honestly, for £6. It's literally what I use when they come back from a muddy walk. Obviously, Hector's not old enough to go on a walk yet, but Herbie comes back from a muddy walk. We wrap him up in one of these. Looks all festive. He's happy because he's got Mickey Mouse. Nice and soft as well, so. Moving on, okay, this is not Christmassy, but I just thought this was literally so cool. And I bought this for Con and I've actually not even showed him yet. So basically, I'm the best girlfriend in the world because whenever I go out, I always seem to get him a little present of some kind. Do you know what I mean? And I'm just like expecting the favour to be returned a bit. It's this PlayStation mug that was £8. I saw this and I thought that is literally it's so nice for Con. Do you know what? Con has two mugs, okay? In this house, I've got about 50, literally. One of Connor's mugs is like an Arsenal mug. Oh, actually, no, he's got three to be fair. He's got an Arsenal mug, an Avengers mug. And then he's got a gym or wedding planning mug that my auntie bought him as an engagement present. And he's got this one. PlayStation and that is so con. I think that's quite a good idea for boyfriends in the back for Christmas presents, just like a little stocking filler. That's just quite cute, you know? Boys can always do with a mug. You underestimate them. Now they might put their tea and coffees in a girly mug and be like, no, no, it's fine, it's fine. But really, we all know what they're thinking. All they want is a PlayStation mug. Except I picked up this little um, water bottle. Do you know I got this? Because when we were on a photo shoot not too long ago, one of the models was using one of these. Not this exact one, but they had like a water bottle like this. And I thought, do you know what? Oh, I really want that. I just feel like it's such a good way to get all your water in, which I definitely need to um, increase. It's also a fruit infuser, which is quite funky. I don't know how much I'll use that function. But anyway, I'm a TMI, but I mean, would I really be a female if I went to Primark and didn't pick up some of these beauties? I don't even need to wave them around, do I? You know what they are. These Primark thongs have been my life since I was literally about 17. They're literally £1 each. You can't really go wrong. They're literally all I have in my underwear drawer. 
Not that you wanted to know that. I'm sorry if the boyfriend's in the back listening. You definitely didn't want to know that. I'm really excited about this one. So this is a Primark Christmas candle. Look at this and I'm obsessed with it. It's called A Festive Christmas. I think the packaging is beautiful. I don't know how much it smells like Christmas as per se. I mean, we've got the White Company Fireside lit here. We also have a very exciting um, other candle launching very soon. That might be, um, you know, something that I think you would all really love. It's definitely more Christmassy than this, but either way, this is still quite nice. I don't know how much this one was because it doesn't have a thing on it, but I feel like it was maybe three pounds. Um, and I just thought the packaging was quite beautiful. So that's going to sit in my hallway. Actually, so excited to decorate for Christmas. You guys have no idea. That may or may not be a video that is coming this week. So make sure you're subscribed if you aren't already. The next thing I picked up, oh, these are so cool. Look, Disney Christmas microfiber cloths, two pounds, can't go wrong. Let's open them up, I can show you what they are. I thought, um, there's no way I'm walking out of Primark without buying them, I absolutely adore them. Look, that's me and Corn. This is another one, look, us going to pick up our Christmas tree so cute absolutely adore so yeah they're really really cute i feel like you need them next i picked up a new eye palette which i'm really excited to try i bought this because i couldn't obviously open it in the store but like the picture of um what this had inside on the i don't even know what it's called oh my god brain fog come on honey get through it you can do it you know when just the just the campaign picture like above all of this says like the, the cardboard bit's got a picture on anyway it looks really nice so okay this is what we've got inside this palette was seven pounds it's called mesmerize eyes and face palette love the names of these rainbow idealist infinity go primark i love that gold shade that gold shade and this shade here i think they're all quite pretty then finally just a couple of jumpers that i picked up to show you guys I'm quite excited about them really because I've got a vision for both of them. So this one I picked up in a large, nice and oversized, and this was £13. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it if I just hold it up. But it's just this roll neck, um, massive black jumper, basically. I think, I feel like it could pass for a jumper dress because it's that big. It's got these nice big sleeves. And I'm going to wear that with a lovely like black cape coat that I picked up from Zara and some high leg boots i feel like that'd be quite cool Prella Deville vibes you know and then again just another basic jumper i won't bother trying these ones on but um i feel like you can just kind of grasp how they're gonna look on they're just like a standard jumper this one's a size large again and this one was 10 pounds and again it's quite similar to this one really but just without the cable net nice basic oatmeal colored jumper there so yeah that's everything i picked up angels it wasn't too much you know i don't think it was the biggest primark haul i've ever done but either way like i said i really hope that this video just put a little bit of a smile on your face made you feel that little bit more festive we are in november now angels so it's not too long until literally our favorite time of year i know that this christmas is going to be very different definitely for me in particular um it's going to be a very weird christmas for me and i'm sure for lots of us all around the world but like i said to start with you've always got me you can always come over here and and hopefully I can take your mind off of stuff. Yeah, I'm just sending lots of you a big festive hug and a big kiss. And just want you all to know how much I love and appreciate you. So thank you so much for watching this video, Angels. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you were new here, I'd love for you to subscribe and become part of the Angel Gal fam. We have lots of really fun festive videos coming very, very soon. Including maybe a decorate. Yeah, I'd just love it if you stuck around. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much and I will see you in the next one.